What's going on guys? You might remember this game. This is Peak Angle, a game I played a couple of months ago and then sort of just forgot about for whatever reason. Anyways, the game is now on Steam and the developers contacted me. They were like, hey, you want to check it out again? And I was like, hell yeah. So they gave me a bunch of free XP, a bunch of money in the game so I could go in try out some of the crazy crazy cars they have in this game so we're gonna start off today's video by building a car so we're gonna head into the store go into car store and now you may notice none of these cars are actually licensed but you can sort of tell what they are for instance that's not at all an AE86S that's probably like an FRS or something and that's not a 3S it's probably an M3 maybe that Ooh, maybe the R34. I don't know. I sort of want to build something up, though. I kind of like that Mustang. That's pretty cool as well. Okay, so you know what we're going to do? We're going to go with a Nissan S13. I mean, those are always cool. No. Okay, that's what we're going with. We're going with that. We're going with an RX-7. Oh, shit. They have, a, they have this one, too. They have the older RX-7. That's so sick. All right, so we're going to take this guy. This is the 1999. I almost said Audi for some reason. Mazda RX-7. All right, so let's select this. Some of the things that we can do is we can head into upgrades. And this already has a bunch of upgrades installed on it. This has like suspension, uh, engine steering upgrades, and, and a bunch of stuff like this. And you can research more with like car experience, which I'll show you uh, in a little bit. Styling, we can actually go in here and paint up this thing and... It's really cool what you can do. So say we want like our brakes to be like bright red. We could just go in and do that. We now have bright red brakes. For our body, let's go with a little bit of an old blue crew. Can I not make it matte? Can I make it like material? Ah, there we go. Oh my God, it's like mirror chrome. And then we can actually paint our wheels like individual colors. So let's go with the front one full black and the rear one ice white okay you can't really see it can i spin the camera yeah there you go it's like white and black rims that looks kind of cool uh vinyls i'm not gonna jump into because you could just go crazy with that body cannot be changed for this car so some of the cars you can go in and you can change what the body of the car looks like Ooh. like some of the cars like the uh gt86 that i saw at the beginning like you can go in there and make the thing like wide body and stuff like that it's pretty cool ultra regular those are huge. Let's get the same in the rear for those. Actually, you know what we could do? No, that's so sick having the different colors. I like that. All right, rear wing. Do we want a rear wing? Is there any lips? No, there's no lips, but there are a bunch of big wings. Let's go. Actually, you know what? I, I don't want a rear wing. I'm going to keep it looking stock and exhaust. Maybe, maybe we can up the size a bit. Go with that one. Fuller 84. Sure. Objects. This is my favorite part of the game. You can put some crazy shit on your car. Last time, I went around and drifted around in a cop car, and that was awesome. But I think today, we might be the shark car. Hurry the pizza delivery van. No, let's be the shark man car. No, pizza delivery van. So then you can come in here, and you can actually tune your car. Uh, it's very similar to Forza, actually, with the way the tuning works. I'm not going to jump into this because it scares me to death. All right, so let's see if we can do a global championship. It says championship found in America, airport number two. Let's see how this goes. Finally, I'm in, in my car. Holy shit, look at those flames. And my controller's working. I'm, I'm playing with a controller, by the way. Now, if you watched my video when I played this a really, really long time ago, the game is being updated a little bit. I don't know if they updated the physics uh, or not, but one of the things they updated that I don't think was in the previous, oh, version was all these purple things. These now give you like boosts if you like wall tap them essentially. And it makes the game really, really cool because it forces you to drive quite well. You can no longer just like, like fishtail it around, I guess, to get huge bonuses. You actually have to be like drifting the entire time, which is pretty cool. So you can get like bonuses still from snaking it around like this. Like if you, if you chuck it back and, and forth and stuff, you will get some bonuses. I'm not sure how they calculate bonuses now. But I know the best way of getting huge, huge amounts of points is to not crash into walls, but to hit these like that. Sort of like that. Ah, uh, that was a wall tap, man. I didn't crash. This car's proving to have some very interesting turning. It feels like the 
I don't know, it just feels like this car's balance isn't very good. And I know it's my tuning. The tuning actually makes a huge difference, and especially what car you're driving makes a huge, huge difference. Like, say for instance, you want to drive, I don't know, this car for instance, and you're doing really well with it, and it's going great, and then you jump in another car, and you do the exact same tune and exact same upgrades. I find the cars feel different. That happened in my first playthrough of this. Like, I was playing with the GT86, and I couldn't drift the GT86 at all. But then I jumped in, I think it was an S14, and the S14 drift like an absolute dream. I found it so easy to slide that thing, and it's just like, you gotta tune each car like individually it makes a massive difference man i just want to build up a huge bonus like last time i remember getting like bonus like times 15 16 and this car is just real tough to drive it's like i keep spinning out and it just doesn't transfer its weight super nice it's like it's a real struggle to actually drift this thing like nicely it's like every time i keep coming around here okay that's a wall tap game there that should have been some nice bonus but it's like, I keep wall tapping stuff and it keeps taking away my points. There we go, getting some bonus. There we go, up to time seven. That's some big angle. I don't know what's causing my steering to feel like laggy, but it feels a little laggy. I'm also getting a little bit of like, um, like auto steer, I could say. Like, when I get close to some of these walls, it's actually steering away from them a little bit. Like, I'll show you what I mean up here. This is where it keeps happening. It's like, say when I get close up here, it's like, it's trying to turn me away from the wall so I don't crash. But I keep trying to get into the wall so I can, like, wall tap all of them, and it's screwing me up a little bit. Maybe if we get in the A86 and we do some quick upgrades to it, like, um, I won't be able to upgrade, like, the steering and stuff. Oh, I can actually upgrade these. Oh, cool. I've got, I've got XP for these. Cool. Brilliant. I see one of the things now that could be really, really annoying. Like, say you want to unlock any of these parts. You need car experience to do so. And if you don't have car experience, you need free experience. And then once you've unlocked it with that, then you need to pay money for it. Which is kind of like, eh, I know some people were saying it's a little bit pay to win style. I could definitely see that, but I don't know. I know some people who play this game religiously and actually unlock a hell of a lot of stuff. For one of the website developers uh, for the Air 12 website actually plays this game like every single night with one of his buddies and he says he really enjoyed do i not have enough for that yeah i like that thank you but yeah he he plays this game a lot and he he really enjoys it but i guess it's like to each their own sort of body this is what i was talking about this thing hey it looks like forest car with no bumpers and you can actually go in and make it like wide body like look at that that looks really cool i think i'm gonna actually go no bumpers just because it looks really awesome so let's take this thing out and see how this goes. Let's go for, uh, I guess, offline practice in Japan? Japan's cool. Check that shark. Oh my god, my exhaust like rumbles off the back of this thing. So let's see if this thing is any better than that GT8 or than that RX-7 that I just had. I don't know. We'll have to, we'll have to see. It's like, I feel like when I press the handbrake, the back end should step out a lot more than it is. Oh, shit! Look at that, times 11! Holy shit, times 11? 3,000 times 11, that's huge. That's 5,000 times 11. Oh my god, did that not get deposited? Are you serious? That didn't get deposited. So I don't know how to deposit drift points, apparently. But, damn! That was a little bit of solid drifting there. I'm gonna try going this way this time. I don't know where we go down here. Let's find out. Yo, this is cool, man, though. I love the shark on the roof. Like, I'm, I'll be honest, the shark on my roof is improving this experience by at least 2%. At least 2 Yo! Times 8. It's so satisfying when you hit all those. Okay. I feel like my brakes don't work. Plus, the amount of smoke is really good, too. It's like, that's not bad. Ooh. Okay, stay away from the wall. Try to get him with the wing. No, nope. wing screwed me. I finished with 6,000 points. I'm just saying, I totally had 5,000 times 11, but I don't know what happened to those. All right, let's go for one more race, though. Maybe I can improve. Okay, no, I don't want... What? All right, so final attempt at this. Uh, I went and did some reading about the game, and I figured out a couple of things. Uh, one, 
the multiplayer system, like all these guys who are apparently right here, uh, they're just ghosts, apparently, of people's runs from what I was reading. So there's no actual multiplayer, you just race against people's ghosts for right now, which is kind of, kind of meh. I also figured out why the car sort of feels like I'm not in control all the time. That's because the game actually has pretty bad auto steer from what I've been fi finding out so far. Like, say I'm just driving along here, and it's turning to the left. It wants to go around this left-hand corner, just like by itself. So if I go into this part, it will probably turn to the right because I'm closer here. It's turning to the right a little bit. So conclusion for peak angle after it's moved over to Steam, I would say, eh. uh, I mean, you can try it out. There's a 48 hour demo over on Steam that you guys can try out for yourself and see how you guys, Jesus, how you guys like it. You play this game a little bit more, I would say for the customization and just having a laugh a little bit. So I don't know. I, I can't really give like a, a definite conclusion for this game, but I mean, it's cool. I love having a shark on my roof, I'll say, but definitely the physics need to be worked on a little bit. Like this auto steer thing and me just not feeling in control is not a very good thing for, for a car game. It's like, I find the car like wants to drive itself most of the time and I find that I get better results from me actually doing less, uh, less work. Like, me steering less will actually bring me better results than me going crazy trying to drift everywhere. Like, me just sitting here, tapping left and, and holding the gas down is actually doing a lot better than me trying to hold, like, some ridiculous angle, I find. So, I don't know. I, 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 I truly can't say whether I would recommend this game or not. You guys would have to try it out for yourself and, and let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. But... I'll say I like the customization, uh, the multiplayer is definitely pretty cool, but I definitely think some things need to be worked on, but then again, the game is still in beta, so I mean it will be changing all the time, so we'll, we'll just have to see sort of what changes, what sticks and whatnot, but yeah, I mean, it's been a pretty good little first look at peak angle, I mean, I've definitely improved since the start of this video, you can see I've got 10,000 points racked up with a times 6 multiplier. Now, the issue is I don't know, actually know how to deposit these. Like, the score runs out, and then I just get some points. Like, I don't get it. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna wrap the video up here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, smash that like button down below, subscribe for more, and I'll see you in the next one.